Hello. In this video, we're going to go over linear approximation for the square root function. This is our part two video. Um, th these can be very confusing at times. However, we're going to have this method where we're going to break it down and plug and chug so we won't be confused moving forward. All right. So the things to recognize and remember is that f of x is equal to or approximated to f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a. First thing we recognize when we're looking at number two, because we've done number one already, is my f of x function without a value is square root of x, right? That can clearly be said because 15.7 is being plugged into x. Next, you want to find out, so now you know that x is 15.7. That is our x value being tested or approximated. The value of a is the closest integer to that number. Now, the closest integer to 15.7, there are two we can choose, 15 or 16. However, one is much closer to 15.7 than the other. Which one is that? Obviously, the 16. So we will say A is 16. Then we're just going to go through our formula and whatnot. So F of X is square root of 16. So when I do F of A, which is 16, sorry, F of X is square root of X. So f of 16 is square root of 16. So we get that to be equal to four. So f of a equal to f of 16 is equal to four. Next, we're gonna find f prime of x. We do that by deriving. First, before we derive, we need to clean this up into a power rule that we know how to manipulate. I can rewrite this exponent of a square root as the exponent to the one half power. Now we can see we can clearly just apply our power rule. Exponent gets multiplied to the front. Take away one from the exponent. That's what we get. Let's clean it all up because the negative exponent brings it back down and the square root one half brings it, makes it a square root sign, right? We get this sign and the two gets there. Perfect. So that is our derivative formula. Next, we want to find f prime of a. F prime of A is equal to one over two square root of 16. Let's, let's clean it up. F prime of A is equal to F prime of 16, which is equal to one over two times 16, square root of 16, one over two times four. So F prime of A is one over eight. So now we're going to plug and chug into our approximation f of 15.7 is approximately f of a, which we know as four, plus f prime of a, which we know as one eighth, x, which is 15.7, minus a. We clean up some more. We see this is a negative 0.3. And we just need to multiply that times one over eight, four plus negative 0 0.0375. Obviously this will subtract the four and we get a value of 3.9625. That is our approximated value, our linear approximation while applying to square root of 15.7. So as again, not too bad. All we need are four things. We have f of x, we find f prime of x, plug in your f of a, plug in your f prime of a, and you are pretty much done. Then we just got to plug it all into that last formula to solve it all out. Other than that, these aren't too bad. And if you're a specific one you'd like me to cover for a linear approximation or any other question, please just send me an email. I'm more than happy to cover and make another video. I hope everyone, I hope everyone has a great rest of their day. Bye.